The Battle of Xiaoku was a battle fought between the warlords Sun Quan and Lu Biao in 203 in the late Eastern Han Dynasty. Sun Quan's forces attempted to conquer Jiangxia commandery, which was defended by Lu Biao's general Huang Zhu. The battle was inconclusive as Sun Quan's forces were unable to capture Jiangxia, even when Huang Zhu retreated. The battle is not to be confused with the Battle of Jiangxia that took place five years later, which concluded with victory for Sun Quan over Huang Zhu. Chapter 1 Background In 200, Sun Quan inherited the territories in Jiangdong conquered by his older brother Sun Si between 194 and 199. He was confirmed by the Han government's de facto leader Cao Cao as a legitimate lord of the Jiangdong lands, and was appointed by the Han government as Grand Administrator of Kuaiji. Two years later, Sun Quan suppressed a rebellion by Li Xu and merged Li's 30,000 troops into his own army. By 203, Sun Quan had achieved a stable control over his territories in Jiangdong, so he set into motion a strategy proposed by his advisor Lu Su. According to the plan, Sun Quan would take Jing province, governed by Lu Biao, and take control of all the lands in southern China, then use the Yangtze River as a natural barrier to defend against invading forces from the north. The first obstacle on Sun Quan's path to dominating Jing province was Jiangxia Commandery, which served as the eastern gateway to Jing province along the Yangtze. In addition, Sun Quan had a personal stake in the campaign on Jiangxia, because Huang Zhu, Lu Biao's appointed administrator of Jiangxia, was responsible for causing the death of his father, Sun Jian, at the Battle of Xiangyong twelve years ago. Chapter 2 The Battle Sun Quan appointed Ling Kao as leader of the vanguard fleet and ordered him to mobilize first, while he kept the larger vessels with himself for a slower advance. On the other hand, Huang Zhu led his army from Jiangxia to Xiaoku and set up a defense line in anticipation of the enemy. En route to Jiangxia, Ling Sao's fleet encountered Huang Zhu's navy at the Xiaoku riverbank, with Huang's large vessels, spread out far and wide. Even though Ling Kao was at a numerical disadvantage then, he considered it his duty as a vanguard leader to eliminate any enemy standing in his lord's path. Undaunted, Ling Kao charged ahead of his men and dashed uninterruptedly into the heart of Huang Zhu's fleet. Since Huang Zhu did not expect such a small unit to engage his larger force, he was unprepared for Ling Sao's attack. Before Huang Zhu could react to the situation, Ling Kao had cleared a path in front of him. Fearing for his life, Huang Zhu abandoned his flagship and boarded a small boat, leaving his navy impaired to function. When Huang Zhu's soldiers saw their commander fleeing towards their home base, they started to desert their posts and scrambled to retreat, resulting in a total collapse of the naval formation. Ling Kao gave pursuit to Huang Zhu and boarded a light vessel in the midst of chaos and fighting. However, when he was close to claiming Huang Zhu's head, he was hit by an arrow fired by Huang's subordinate Gan Ning and died, thus Huang was able to retreat to Jiangxia safely. Huang Zhu remained in Jiangxia thereafter and did not respond to the challenges of Sun Quan's main army. Unable to breach Jiangxia's walls, Sun Quan soon withdrew his troops back to Jiangdong to deal with the Shanyu tribes who constantly raided his lands. Chapter 3 Aftermath Even though Gan Ning saved Huang Zhu's life at a critical moment, Huang was unappreciative of his effort because he despised Gan for his background. Gan Ning then heeded the advice of his comrade, Su Fei, to defect to Sun Quan's side, bringing along with him confidential intelligence on Huang Zhu's forces. Sun Quan received Gan Ning warmly and followed Gan's suggestion to launch a full assault on Huang Zhu again three years later in 208, starting the subsequent Battle of Jiangxia. Chapter 4 In Popular Culture the Battle of Xiaoku was featured as a playable stage in the 4th, 5th, and 7th installments of Koei's video game series Dynasty Warriors. In the games, the battle was merged with the Battle of Jiangxia. In the later installments, the battle became more significant after Ling Tong became a playable character. In Dynasty Warriors 5, 
it was incorrectly stated that the Battle of Zayaku took place in 208.